back to Schools Coordinator with Highlight Highland and we're here again today to bring you some games. Absolutely delighted to see lots of you having fun with our first two games, the Kings and Queens Puzzle Run and also Airborne Challenge, so keep that up. But I'm even more excited to be bringing you our third game of 2021, which we are going to call Bonus Ball. So far, we've worked on a few different things with our games. We have done a little bit of physical fitness, running back and forth in the Kings and Queens puzzle run. We've done problem solving, memory. We've done hand-eye coordination as well. But bonus ball is gonna further work on our hand-eye coordination, but more specifically, our fine motor skills, our aim and our target practice. And that's key skills that's used in lots of sports, including uh, darts, it's in golf, croquet, archery, it's in bowling, it's in football and hockey. Lots and lots of sports have aims and targets. This is what you're going to need for bonus ball. Six bits of paper and you're going to scrunch each bit into a ball just like this. You are also going to create your own target block for this challenge. You're going to need a cardboard box just like this one. Um, and in this cardboard box, you're gonna cut out some holes that will act as the targets that we're gonna send our paper balls through. And I have one pre-made. There you have it. I have my holes uh, or targets lining the bottom of the box so that when I place it on the floor, I'm gonna be able to roll or throw the paper balls through these four different sections. Depending on the size of the box, you want it to have between three and five holes. Please get help to cut these sections out of the box um, and then get creative. all six of our paper balls we also have our scored target box now here's how to play the aim of bonus ball is for you to throw all six of your paper balls through the targeted scoreboard you want to try and build up the highest score possible if your paper ball doesn't make it through any of the scorecards it does not count I'm afraid it's only the successful paper balls that will count I'm gonna give it a go and here's how to set it up as well five balls to continue building up a score. On your sixth throw, if you successfully manage to get your paper ball through one of the targets, then you will multiply your high score by the first number on the target that you managed to hit. So if your score was 100 and you managed to then get your final ball through the 20, then you would multiply 100 by 2, which would give you a total score of 200. Try and play this against other people in your house. You can play it individually and build up your own score. But the main thing is to have fun. Thank you very much, guys. Please stay safe, stay active, and stay in touch.